Welcome back everyone to our show. Tesla has taken a frequently touted customer loyalty crown from Ford. A title, the Detroit legacy automaker Ford has had for nine years. S&P Global Mobility's Automotive Loyalty Award revealed today on Monday. Ford has held the overall loyalty to make crown for nine years but tesla was able to utilize its combination of return to market consumer base and a majority of battery electric vehicle sales market share to earn the crown in all tesla captured five awards in the manufacturing and make loyalty category including overall loyalty to make ethnic market loyalty to make most improved make loyalty highest conquest percentage and alternative powertrain loyalty to make with the latter two being repeat awards for the company tesla's make loyalty rate was 67.2 percent with general motors who retained its crown for overall loyalty to manufacture for the eighth consecutive year coming in at 65.4 percent the detroit free press said the s p global mobility crown for ethnic market loyalty to make measures a company's diverse consumer base diverse buyer base i don't like the word consumer tesla won this award with 52 percent of its loyalty volume coming from ethnic uh, car buyers Vince Palomares, S&P Global Mobility's product manager of loyalty, commented on the award saying, ethnic buyers have increased their market share in the industry every year for the last decade, making them an important audience in building loyalty success for the foreseeable future. Additionally, the Tesla Model 3 and Tesla Model Y each captured an award in the segment made loyalty awards the model 3 won the luxury small car award while the model y captured the luxury small utility crown the process that smp global mobility uses to determine its loyalty awards is explained as quote loyalty is determined when a household that owns a new vehicle returns to market and acquires another new vehicle of the same make model or manufacturer basically from the same company the newly acquired vehicle may be either a replacement or an addition to the household fleet it is no secret that tesla has had to fend off competition for the last several years while startups have not necessarily tested the same level of success legacy automakers have made more of a dent in tesla's market share as the mustang mark e chevrolet bolt ev and other legacy made electric vehicles have been the model 3 um, and model y's biggest competitors in the meantime on march 1st there will be probably a history in the making tesla may deliver biggest moment in the car industry since model t to be more precise, here's what's going to probably happen. We may be about to witness the most significant moment in the automotive history since Henry Ford developed the Model T mass-producing line over a century ago. More and more evidence suggests that Tesla's Investor Day event this week on March 1st will mark the beginning of a new era in automotive manufacturing. One in which electric vehicles are not only much cheaper to run and maintain than petrol and diesel cars, but also cheaper to make, cheaper than gas cars to make. Following Tesla's Autonomy Day in 2019, Battery Day in 2020, or AI Day in 2021, and AI Day 2 in 2022, Investor Day is the latest in series of five broadcast events providing details on the technology Tesla has been developing and what it has planned for the future. As confirmed by an Elon Musk tweet two weeks ago, Investor Day will be all about manufacturing and scaling production, the final piece in Tesla's mission to accelerate the transition to electrified transport. Now, why is electric vehicle manufacturing so important that we're paying this much attention on it? There are currently over a billion petrol uh, means gas and diesel cars in the world that's a billion exhaust pipes spewing out toxic pollution in the air we all breathe every day a billion exhaust pipes 
pumping carbon dioxide into the Earth's atmosphere, making up over 20% of annual global emissions. If humans want to get the cancer-causing toxic air pollution out of our cities, and if we want to maximize our chances of halting the climate crisis and having a livable planet, we need to get the billion gas and diesel car boxes off our roads as soon as possible. Get them out of our roads as soon as possible. The most logical first step in achieving this is to stop selling new toxic cars, which just make the problem worse. There were almost 80 million new cars sold worldwide in 2022. Did you know that? Roughly 10 million of these were fully electric, which means there were an additional 70 million, 87%, new gas and diesel cars that um, kind of uh, pollute our earth and our cities. The average life of these fossil burning uh, cars is over 10 years, meaning that all the gas and diesel cars sold in 2022 in the world will still be uh, polluting our cities into our lungs in two, by 2032. The sooner we stop selling new gas and diesel cars, the sooner we'll have clean air in our cities. There are three key objectives to accelerate the transition away from these pollution pumping machines. First, rapidly design cities to encourage biking and walking, reports the article in the, the Driven. And I will have the link in the description of this video. Second, rapidly scale and electrify public transport. Third, rapidly scale electric vehicle manufacturing. Investor Day will outline how the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer, Tesla, plans on achieving this third objective, rapidly improve the production and scale the production of electric vehicles. In his recent tweet, Elon Musk said, Master Plan 3, uh, the path of a fully sustainable energy future for Earth, will be presented on March 1st. The future is going to be, I think, bright if we do things right. It's been 17 years since Elon Musk published Tesla's original master plan in which he laid out the company's overarching strategy of starting with high-cost, low-volume cars and moving to low-cost, high-volume cars. To date, Tesla has executed this plan to perfection, moving from high-cost, low-volume sports cars and luxury cars like Tesla Roadster, Tesla Model S and Model X, moving to lower-cost, higher-volume Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. And this is why we see more people are being more faithful and loyal to Tesla brand and Tesla's models. The next stage will be based on Tesla's third generation platform, which may uh, many observers believe will enable Tesla's stated target of $25,000 model. The Tesla Model 3 is currently selling for about $35,000 US dollars, including the IRA tax credit. In his recent Investor Day preview, Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas points out that Tesla's current cost of goods sold, it's called COGS, is under $39,000 per vehicle. This is based on Tesla's second generation platform. Now, what will happen if Tesla introduces the third generation platform on March 1st? Investor Day will reveal how significant advances in Tesla's manufacturing will drive the cost of goods sold of Tesla's third generation platform towards a $25,000 mark. Subscribe to our channel as we, I'm going to report all of that as they become available in the next couple of days, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let me know your thoughts about Tesla's new coming vehicles, the new platforms, and the loyalty. How loyal have, been you, have you been to Tesla if you're a Tesla owner or maybe thinking to buying a Tesla? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Give us thumbs up if you found this report useful and helpful. God bless you and I'll see you soon in our next report.